Chuck Green with the Elite Angler Academy. I also fished the MLF Pro Circuit. I uh, fished the Bassmaster Elite Series for years. I fished uh, the FLW Tour for years. Made several Bassmaster Classics, several Forest Wood Cups. Um, and I thought I'd start a video series, and we're going to call it What's in the Box or What's in the Bag. And essentially, there's this misconception that tour anglers get everything for free. But I can tell you right now that most anglers buy a lot of stuff. Yes, we have a ton of sponsors and everything else that help us out. We get discounts on a lot of things. But with this new series, what I want to do is I want to highlight the orders that I'm making. I have this luxury to be able to do this right now in my career because I currently don't have tackle sponsors. And a lot of that's by choice because I don't want to promote somebody's awesome product, but then you know use their three or four really good products and then have to promote their two or three really bad products. And I'm not gonna name companies' names or anything like that, but most companies have had some sort of dud at some point in time that I just don't think is very good. You know, it might be your favorite bait, you know, but for me, it doesn't fit into my arsenal of fishing. And so what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna highlight whenever I go to any tackle store or I make an order to Tackle Warehouse, I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm ordering that I'm paying for, you know? So it's gonna be 100% honest, I'm going to tell you why I'm buying products, you know, colors, certain things. Some of it might not have any reason at all. Some of it's just to try out. But I'm basically going to go through my orders every time I make an order and show you exactly what I'm getting. So right now, I am currently getting geared up to go to Smith Lake in Alabama, which is a, you know, clear water, spotted bass fishery for the most part. Largemouth will be a player, uh, but... You know, for the most part, I'm probably going to target spotted bass because that is my forte more so in these types of situations. It's easier to get a check that way. Uh, this lake's got big spotted bass. Um, so there's going to be a lot of light line finesse type stuff. And it's getting to the point in my career, and even when I'm guiding, that about half the fish that I catch every year come on a spinning rod. So I'm real comfortable using finesse techniques and light line and everything else. So without further ado, I'm going to go over a bag that I bought the other day from Tackle Attic, which is a monster store down by the dam at, at Sam Rayburn. Uh, it's got primarily stuff that works, you know, in East Texas. Yes, they'll work all over the place, but they stock stuff that's pretty uh, consistent for what you need to fish Toledo Bend, Sam Rayburn, and a bunch of other East Texas lakes. Not a whole lot of finesse type stuff. So I'm going to go over real quick what's in my bag. All right, so I'm gonna pull out a few things at a time. Uh, the first one I'm gonna pull out is a Ned rig. You know, the regular roll is Z-Man, TRD. I like the big TRD. And my favorite color is called the Deal. It's kind of like a green pumpkin uh, with a bluish, you know, shad blue um, iridescent look to it. It's got a little purple flake in it. And it's called the Deal, made by Z-Man. And I go through a lot of these every year. Uh, whether it's at Rayburn Guiding, it's one of my go-tos now on a Ned Rig, um, but it's kind of one of my default colors that I'm going to throw. Uh, so again, I've got a pack of uh, the big TRDs in the deal, and I currently also have a bunch of them over here on the wall. I'm running short on that color. You can kind of see them over here. Uh, I've got tubs everywhere. i got tubs in my barn, so some of these are duplicates of things I'm going to use a lot. All right, so one of the things I got also is these Zoom Speed Craws, Ultra Vibe Speed Craws. And the reason I got these is this color is new to me. And you can kind of see it here. It is called Green Pumpkin Blue Flash. And it is the closest thing I've seen to the deal color in the Z-Man products. And so I got it in there in the Speed Craw, which I throw a lot of Speed Craws. And that's the reason why I got that pack of worms. Um, let's see here. Right now, I got a Berkeley Fritz side in a shad pattern. You know, the reason I've got this is everybody says it's a great crankbait. I have two or three of them currently. I don't like to have only one of any single thing. Uh, I've only got one of this one, and it's just a generic shad pattern. Um, and it's a flat sided crankbait. The water's gonna be cooler. Um, there's been a lot of tournaments won on this. I'm sure most people have heard of that crankbait right now. But the reason I bought it is everybody says it's so great. That if I, one of my buddies that I talk to in the event says, hey, I'm um, catching them on a Fritz side, I've got one. This uh, seven foot, or this Fritz side seven says it's a slow rise, five to seven feet. 
you know, I've got it just in case. Another bag of big TRDs in the deal. Another pack of uh, Ultra Vibe Speed Crawls in uh, that green pumpkin blue flash. And again, I'd buy two of everything because you don't want to run out either on a guide trip or, you know, in the tournament situation. Another pack of green pumpkin blue flash speed crawls. So with that one, I've actually got three. I know a lot of places I go, the crawfish have kind of a green pumpkin-y hue. They got a little blue tint to them a lot of times. Uh, again, same color and a baby brush hog. You know, I catch a ton of fish at Sam Rayburn on a baby brush hog Carolina rigging every year. A lot of my guide clients is what I have them throw, that and a fluke. Uh, typically we throw watermelon or green pumpkin or watermelon red, any of the variation of that. But I've gone to throwing that, the deal color uh, on, the, on the Ned rig and catch a lot of fish. I'm seeing where it's out fishing a lot of other colors. So this green pumpkin blue flash and a baby brush hog is worth me trying out. Another pack of the same. And uh, the guy at Tackle Attic, Aaron, I mean, he said it's a limited run color. He said, you better stock up if you're interested in it. So go ahead and grab it uh, when you see it. Uh, right here, I got a pack of TRD tubes in the same color, the deal. Again, Spot of Bass Fishery. Um, I've thrown the Ticklers by Z-Man some. This tube is real similar to it. Uh, you can see it's kind of real small, compact. It's that, it's that uh, Elastec plastic. So it's gonna last a long time, but I think I can put that on a jig head, give them something different. Even more finesse than putting on just a straight Ned Rig or a finesse worm. Trick worm, same color. That green pumpkin, blue flash. You know, and if anything, I'm gonna use these, maybe not as much here at Smith Lake, but I know at, at Rayburn I'm gonna use them. And when I get on big schools of fish, I'm gonna burn through plastics, so it really doesn't matter what color I throw a lot of times. Um, I can just burn through these on guide trips. Let's see what else we got. Uh, we got some Gamagatsu G Finesse uh, Trick Heads, you know, which is another type of shaky head. And I'm gonna play around. I think I can rig because it's got a little barb on it. You can kind of see on the back. It's got a barb on the head, uh, which you can see right there. And you need that barb for any of these Elastec plastics. And so I've got a way that I, I can trim a head on a uh, on a on Elastec uh, Ned rig and be able to shove it on there and throw that as a shaky head. Um, it's gonna you know hold on to the bait a lot longer. So I'm excited about trying that out. Again, another pack of the trick worms in that green pumpkin blue flash. Again, I buy at least two of everything. I got two spools right here of Seaguar Tatsu. Don't have a sponsorship with them, but this is what I throw when I throw a leader on a Carolina rig, on a braided fluorocarbon leader. I'm about out of 15 pounds. So I got a pack of 15 pound Tatsu. This will probably last me all year. Yes, it's expensive, but it's good stuff. I don't like throwing the Tatsu on my main line. Uh, I had a bad experience one time doing that, but you know, for a leader material, that's what I go with. I typically throw the uh, the uh, Seaguar Abrazex, you know, and Invisex for a lot of my other fishing. Uh, but the Tatsu in 15 is where I throw on Carolina rig leaders a lot of times. And the 12 is kind of the go-to for any sort of spinning rod, whether I'm skipping a Senko around, wacky rigged, uh, throwing a shaky head and things like that. You know, for this particular trip, I'm also got spools of 10 that I have plenty of right now. Uh, I've got some eight and six pound that if I need to really go in clear water, uh, I don't have any issues with that because I know how to set my drag. But in this order, I've got two hard baits. And again, that's the rest of the stuff in the bag. I've got two hard baits here. I've got, and they're both the same. It is a double clutch uh, jerk bait made by Japanese company, maybe decoy. I can't tell. Pros, Kazuma, Izumi, Produce. And again, the Daiwa rep uh, at Rayburn in East Texas had told me last year, you know, he liked this jerk bait. Um, it's a little bit smaller than a um, Vision 110, which is kind of one of the go-tos whenever you're fishing clear water for jerking. I like kind of this pink color. One of my favorite color uh, crankbaits by Lucky Craft is a Japan Craw. 
and it's a, again it's a pink translucent color so this jerk bait right here and again i've got two of them that jerk bait's got a pink and shag colored side to it and i'll probably throw this on eight or ten pound line uh and and have it at tied on is it you know for me honestly a lot of times when i'm throwing a jerk bait you know people get hung up on colors i've got a few go-to's but you know i don't I don't have brand loyalty to anything, so I thought this one looked good. He says it dives down decent, uh, and actually it says dive on the back. Um, it dives down decent. He catches some big spots at Rayburn on it, so I thought I'd give it a try, take it to Smith Lake, and give it a shot. I'm currently waiting on a box from Tackle Warehouse to come in. It's got even more stuff getting ready for this event, so as soon as that box comes in, I'll get that uploaded. Uh, if you've seen anything you like, or have a comment about one of these products, uh, drop a comment. Uh, be sure to subscribe as well, and we're gonna keep these videos rolling throughout the year. All right, thanks for watching.